What's happening people? Welcome back to the Samazan channel. My name is La and today we're going to look at this melodic techno sound effect which is really great to use on drops like build-ups and drops and things like that. I'll just show it you now in uh, solo. Really, really interesting sound, quite complex, uh, but we'll dive into everything and see what's making it work. And I'll just show it you now in context with this little idea I've got here. Right, so you can hear that it adds a lot of this kind of like uh, strange tension I guess and just adds a lot of interest to your to your drops so let's go to diva here uh, the sound is taken from the circle volume 2 melodic techno pack and it is the sound called alloy uh, so it's this sound effect here so we'll just look at what's going on in the sound and I'll tell you what's kind of making it do what it's doing uh, so uh, we'll just have a look at the oscillators first that's kind of the first thing you want to do whenever you're trying to dissect a sound and so we, if we look here you can see that there's three oscillators being used and the volume is like being half used on them all but they're all being engaged so that means that all of these are being used and if we just look at the tuning on them so the the tone of them the first one, uh, which is a sawtooth, is on the 8, so it's uh, a little bit deeper than the other two. And then you have the other two oscillators, which are higher up in the in the octave. And they are a cross between like a square wave slash pulse width, and then this is another sawtooth. There's a bit more modulation going on here, so we have some filter modulation, which is this FM. So the first oscillator is modulating the other two oscillators. I'll just show you what that sounds like. Let me uh, solo the right bit here. So if I take this away, so it's adding this kind of dirt, I guess, and a slight bit of detune. So it's just modulating the speed and the, and the shape of the other two oscillators with this first oscillator. Really, really great thing to, to play around with, can add a lot of interest to your sound. The other bit of modulation that we've got going on is you can see here we have LFO2 which is affecting the shape mod, so the shape modulation. The shape meaning the shape of these uh, oscillators. So it's gonna be changing the shape of the first one. You see there's three of them here. So the first one. So this is going to be modulating the shape of this depending on the speed of LFO2, which we're gonna dive into in a sec. I'll dive into LFO2. So that's the, mo that's the majority of what's going on within the kind of like tone of the sound. There's also a bit of noise you can hear here. really helps having that noise. I'd have a little bit more personally. And then if we look here, I think I've added a bit too much cross mod. Let me just... If you go too far with this, it can sound pretty bad. Yeah, you can see it goes a bit crazy, but a little bit of it. It's really nice. Uh, so if we look here on now the filter section and the envelope section, so we have the sound which is uh, being completely opened up with the filter. Well, not completely, but it's about halfway. So around here, and then we have the envelope. So envelope one, which is like the amp envelope. The sustain is all the way up so that the sound is coming through and it's just staying there the entire time. And then with the envelope two, it's adding a little bit of an attack when the sound first comes in. So if we take this envelope two away, the cutoff filter isn't opening up at all any further than where it is right now. With it like that, it's opening up and then closing down gradually. And then the bit of modulation that's going on here, so the main thing that we need to look at for this sound is all within this LFO2. So LFO2 is modulating the cutoff filter, but it's also modulating the amp envelope here. So if I take away this LFO2 here, you might think, oh, there's not gonna be any movement now. But as you can hear, it's still happening, right? 
And that's because if we go down here to the amp uh, amplitude modification, so we have this add here, and add is just two modulation sources added together. So you go into the modifications here, and you look on add, and you can see the LFO2 and the mod wheel are being added together. And so then we just need to look, okay, so what's, what's the thing that's causing the movement? If my mod wheel isn't moving, then that means that I'm not doing anything with the mod wheel, so it must all be from LFO2. So then you come over to LFO2, you're like, okay, what kind of craziness is going on here? Hi, this video is sponsored by us. If you like these tutorials and want to support the channel, check out our website packed with online courses and professional sample packs. Also check our ready-to-use and club-tested Diva presets. You can browse by the genre and style you're looking for, or get the incredible deal with the full Diva preset button. Thank you for listening, and now let's get back to your tutorial. So we have the saw down, and then we have it on a gate, and we have this really fast speed. So first look at the waveform. So we want to, you can just try it on like a sine wave. Has that smooth feeling. Same with the triangles, kind of smooth as well. And the saw down is like kind of harsh and it gives a little bit more of like a rhythm. So that's what's giving it the kind of the shape. And then the timing here, so we have it really, really quick, but then you can hear that the timing is slowing down and then speeding back up. So if we look here on the rate mod, the rate mod, so the, the, the rate of the, of the speed, so if we go really quick, you know, that's, that's essentially controlling the speed and this is syncing it to a certain timing. But the rate mod here is being modulated by something else. So it's being modulated by LFO1. So we go to LFO1 here and you can see the, sp the timing is set here. So this timing is modulating the timing of LFO2, which is giving it this kind of interesting slowing down speeding up effect. So if I take away the modulation source, so just double click it, it just stays at the same speed. Right, there's no movement, which could still be quite a cool effect, but it's quite nice with it doing this. Yeah, really nice. So yeah, that's where all that interesting movement is coming from, essentially. And so then if you then add this LFO2 to things, you're going to add that movement to multiple different things. So then we could add it to the noise oscillator here. So we go here, and then we could increase this here. And now the, the noise oscillator is increasing and then slowing down. We could add it to this cross mod, which is this really strange, interesting uh, sound here. So if we just do this. That could be really interesting and cool to play around with. Go the other way. But we'll leave it where it is, so we'll just leave it at how the sound um, was already set. And you could put maybe on the filter modulation, so the FM going into the filter, we could try it on that. Maybe the other way. Yeah, I mean, it's not needed. <laughs> but it's something that you can definitely play around with. Uh, and the other thing that's going on with the sound that's a little bit interesting is just the uh, effects here. So we're using a phaser. So it's got that kind of coming in and out uh, of phase feeling. Uh, if we just turn it on and off, you'll be able to hear. It's got this kind of like feeling. Uh, it's quite hard to explain it with words, but uh, yeah, it has this kind of... Uh, kind of unique phasing sound to it, which is quite nice for this kind of uh, effect. And then there's just a little bit of delay as well, which is helping quite a lot. So we take away the delay. It just becomes very mono and we want uh, a bit more stereo information there. So that is everything that is going on within the sound. It's a little bit complex with uh, the LFO and all that stuff, but that's how you can get these really interesting movements within sounds. It could be quite useful to use on things like leads as well. This is just, a, in this case, being used as just more of an effect, but you could definitely have that going on with some like big, powerful lead as well. So let's just uh, look at the MIDI. I just want to show you one thing as well. When you're using this sound, you want to generally just 
use it on the root note of your track. So in this case, the root note or the tonic, because uh, I'm playing an F minor, is the F. So we're just playing the F and then sustaining the sound, and that's what's going to make it sound in key, because there is quite a bit of tone going on with the sound. If you don't have it in key, it's going to sound off. All right, so that is pretty much it for the sound. I'll just show you some of the other things in the track and then in another video, I'm gonna dive into like, the making of them. So we have some cool things like some atmosphere stuff here. We got this other pad here. Really cool. And then the main lead here. Really, really cool sound. Everything that you hear in this little demo is taken from the uh, Circle Volume 2 Melodic Techno Pack. So I'm going to be going over all of these sounds in uh, separate videos straight after this. Uh, so make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on those sounds. Cool. Thank you very much for watching this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.